Hey cute people, yes it's me, back with another video for you guys. Something I'm not sure I've done before, this may be the first time. I really should have checked to see if I've done a video like this before, right? Before I come on here to say I've never done one of these before. But if I have, it's only been once, so here's another one, or the first one. But this is my empties video, and I'm calling it my North Carolina empties video because most of these products I've bought while I was down here, received while I was down here, and I've used up since I've been down here. I may have started some of these things while I was in New York, but I don't think there's many of them. Most of them, like I said, have come to me um, with the exception of whatever I got from a curl kit since i've been down here most of them anyway so i'm gonna go through these products because i have an awful lot i'm telling you i've been accumulating these things because i've been meaning to do this video a long time ago i never started it but i'm getting it done today because i want to show some things to you guys now this is in no particular order but just some things that i like the first thing i grabbed my hands um my hands grabbed was this moisturizer cream just to show this to you, I didn't purchase this in a store. I got this, believe it or not, when I was in the hospital with PE, pulmonary embolism. This stuff right here really, really works. I don't know if um, you've ever come across this product, but if you come across this product, do pick it up. It's by Secura. I don't know if you can see that there. And I like this stuff. It really, really worked wonders for me. I couldn't believe that it worked as well as it did. Now, these two products I'm showing you now are products that are my own favorites. And I also make sure I have this all the time. You see, this is the Body Powder Assure. And I get this from Dollar Tree, or you can get it from Deals if you're in New York. This stuff is fantastic, and it gives you a great feel if you sweat a lot under your boob area, between your legs, or wherever you may sweat at. This stuff really works. I don't know about foot odor or foot sweating, but for your body, it works. They do have something for foot, so you can try that out if you need, you need to. I love body washes. And I don't care who makes them, where they come from. I love them. This is one of my favorites. I love them because of the scent, the way it smells. I love to take a shower to help me sleep. I love to take a shower to help me wake up. And this is one of the ones that I really, really like. These here I've had for a good while. As you can see, the packaging, I think, has changed a lot. A lot. But I just finished these. And this is one of the first products I wanted to show you guys. But as you can see, I have three different um, fragrances. And here they are. So I finished these while I was down here. And these are from Bath and Body Works. And this is the Body Lotions Coco Lime. I have um, Velvet Turbo Rose, I think that says. And this one is Blushing Bloom. I may say something else in the words, but I can't see it. Yeah. But these things, I, I remember them smelling really good. I can't remember if I like one over the other. Bath & Body Works products, I can say I will definitely try them from time to time, but they're not something I would buy all the time, whether I like them or not. It's just that I can find something cheaper in the drugstore. Now, this I love. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, this is the Yes to Carrots Hand and Elbow Cream. This stuff smells so good. I don't know if you've ever tried it before, but if you have not, please get your hands on this stuff. It smells so delightful. And this is another product that I like. This is from Neutrogena. I like all Neutrogena products. Well, not all, but a lot of them, I should say. And this one here was perfect for my skin. I have dry skin. I don't know if it's for all skin types, but you can see that it has SPF 15 which may not be an awful lot, but it has some in there. This I received, oh my goodness, I cannot rem remember where I received this from. This is from Al Genis, and I did like this here. This is a firming and lifting cream. Um, I didn't buy it for, or get it for that purpose. I believe I got this from Sephora, but I did like it. This here is a hand cream i love hand creams the yes to carrots that i just showed you is something i would definitely purchase but since then i've tried other things and this is one of them i needed something in a hurry i saw this i picked it up and i did like it was it very expensive from dollar tree this i like this is the blistex lip infusion i like this and the reason why it's a go for me because i like that ball and when you put it on it's so nice and cool. Why am I showing you clear? 
but I do like this here. Would I buy it again? Yes, but I've tried many things since. This one here, I since I've gotten down here, why in the world did I get eczema? I've never had eczema before, but I finally um, got a taste of it and I didn't like it. But I bought this right here, so I'm going to tell you now. It's supposed to be um, an itch cream with 1% hydrocortisone an anti itch cream but it didn't do a thing for me so i'm telling you now if you need something for itching leave this in the store and it is a vino at that but this i got as a sample from something somewhere but i like this one too um like i said i'm not brand loyal with a lot of things i try so many things but i will get get this again or get the um full-size product now this i love this I will purchase again. This is Aquafina's lip balm. It's in peppermint. You can't see much on it, and neither can I. But I really like it. I got it from Dollar General, and it came in a pack. It has some other flavors, but um, I really like this one. You put it on your lips, it keeps your lips a nice tingle. This, I don't know why I'm showing you this, but uh, if you're in a hospital, I know they give this out in the Bronx Hospital. So if you happen to come across this, try it because it really works. It's just petroleum jelly. And this is something I want to show you guys too, which I did like. This is a Nivea a Kiss of Shine. It said, I can't see anything else on it, but I did save it just to show you in case you want to try Nivea's Kiss of Shine. But I did like this too. So now, the next things I want to show you are just some beauty products. I really use up beauty products, but I'm going to show this to you only because um, I want to. I think I first heard of EOS since I've been here on Amazon. Sorry about the light, y'all, but y'all know this is EOS. And these two flavors here, I'm not sure which one I like more than the other, but I like them both. Avon Big Color Lip. Nope. Eye Color eyeliner or whatever they may call it but that's my favorite i think i mentioned that to you guys before i buy this all the time and when i do i usually get three or four of them because i really like it for under my eye if you want to get a dark um line and you don't want to keep playing with them it goes on so smooth but this i like too and i like it because of the small little wand was perfect although i barely used it because i was so scared to get um mascara on my eye underneath so i barely used it this is a wet and wild um eyeliner which i like wet and wild you can't go wrong with that these two here i know i got from some type of kit from black radiance but i really like this mascara this black is the um i'm not even gonna try to say the name but i got it from some kit with um some other black radiance items and i love this stuff i held on to this for as long as i could until i just thought it was best not to use it no more but i really like that stuff there now i'm going to show you some things that i like as far as hair i have four products here from cantu i love cantu and i'm sure you do too <laughs> and i even have one of their um packs because I obviously didn't have any conditioner so I went and bought a pack and that's that and I really like this product as you can see I have uh, two coconut curling creams and a deep treatment mask and a leave-in conditioner mm -hmm. This is something else that I like. I got this. Okay. This is something I know I got from Curl Kit. And I really like this stuff. I have coarse hair. And it worked pretty good. I don't really care about having my edges slicked down. I just want them to look nice, cute, and neat. That's the most important thing. And that did this for me. I think this is the first um, edge control gel that I've ever used. I purchased another one since then. Not this brand, but another one. These products right here. I wish I would have left in the store. I don't know if you can see it. But these are from Carol's Daughter. It came out not too long ago. This is the leave-in detangling. You can't see it too much. And this one here is the Curl Twisted Custard. I could have left this right in the store. One day I'm not going to have to fight with light so much. But... That's what this one is here. And um, it's the 
I'm not gonna. I can't say the name. I saw a video and she told you how to say the name. This is it. I really didn't like this. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna keep this to the side and talk more about that product because I haven't really seen any videos of people um using it, but I'm sure people have. But I'm gonna keep that close to my neck. So I can remember to do something with that one. Now this here is the Argan Oil of Morocco Creamy Hair Butter. I did like this. And let me tell you something. I have other products from this company. And I really like this stuff. Okay, so here's a conditioner. And I really like this conditioner too. They sent these to me. And um, I didn't do any reviews. But I promised myself the next time. Because I have some other products from them. Um, that I will definitely do some reviews on it. But I really like this stuff. It made my hair feel really nice. Very soft. This here. Um, I purchased this one from Walmart. And I used a little bit of it. But I did like it. So it's a corner left in there. And this is the biotin and collagen oil treatment. And I like their little jars too. And let me see. I have another one that I use from them. This is the B5 Weightless Oil Mist. One thing I can say about their oils, they are very light. They are not heavy. So if you have fine hair, trust me, these things will definitely work for you because they're not greasy at all. And I really like this stuff. I used to use this um, when I wash my hair and I would use it when um, I would put moisture back in my hair during the week, I would definitely use this. And like I said, it's not heavy at all, so try it. And you could definitely find this stuff in Walmart, I know for sure. And I'm sure any other drugstore, but I love their products. And let's see here. Oh, I snatched every bit out of here, so you can't see my hair. But it really, really works on my hair. I mean, my hair feel really, really soft, and I like that. Now, another one of those products I apparently used up was this one here and this is um a curl styling milk i can't remember too much about this one how i may have felt about it so i'm gonna say it's probably just something i just used and just kept it pushing okay so i am a fan of any black castor oil so this is the one that i was using and i love it love it love it so i'm gonna get another one this is the coconut one and I like this one. I also use this one here. I brought this from New York. And this here is the olive oil. I don't know if you'll see this everywhere. I bought this from a beauty supply store. This here is... Yeah, it's an olive oil. It only cost me $1.99. They have like three or four other... Um, choices. I can't think of the word I want to use. It's not a fragrance. Little choices, okay. And I think I bought all of them, but this one I used first. It was okay. I mean, I ain't gonna complain. It wasn't too bad. Now this, but when it comes to um, olive oil, I prefer to buy one that I know is definitely um, authentically made. That one, I don't think so. This one here, I know I got from Curl Kid. This I like this almond oil, but it is so so strong. Yeah, it's really really strong. It has a nice scent though, but it's strong. Vegetable glycerin I have here. I don't think I'm going to purchase vegetable glycerin anymore. Not that I didn't like it, but I think when it comes to oils, there's just going to be a few I'm going to stick with. Um, I may change from time to time, but that's going to be olive oil and jojoba. Pretty much. That's it. But this right here, oh, it's pretty good. And you see it's from now. I believe I got this from... Give me that company. It starts with the S. Okay, well, this I got from Curl Kit. All right, and it's the Karenique. I like this stuff. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Oh, I love the smell of this here. And it's for your hair or your body. And it is, oh my goodness, I really, really like this stuff. Karenique. I have another one I'm using, but I really like this blend here. Let's see. This is something from Shea Moisture. And you can see the writing came off of it. I don't know which product it is, but I like Shea Moisture stuff, so they can't go wrong with me. And that almond oil has my nose to... And since I've been down here, I've been using coconut oil. This is the brand that I use. This is the second one I use. The first one, I can't remember the name of it, but 
I like this one. It's relatively inexpensive from Walmart. And I gotta sneeze again. Okay, I'm back. We might told you that almond oil that I got from Curl Kit was strong. It's so strong. I sneezed then and I had to sneeze again. So I think I'll be all right. But that stuff is really, really strong. I tell you, even though I like the scent, I can't take the scent. But this here is from Tressa Mays. You know, old favorite. We cannot go wrong with this one here, right? So this is something that I would repurchase. And it's a shame that I can't stick with something because the true product junkie in me just wants to keep changing things, buying new things, getting new things all the time. But I like that stuff. So this is the Shea, Mister, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is something that I tried. And like I mentioned to you, I like um, Shea Moisture's product. I don't think I've come across any Shea Moisture product I haven't liked so far. But I've only tried their older stuff, nothing new yet. And this here is the Deep Treatment Mask. I do recommend this for anybody who has dry hair, whose hair is breaking. Even if you don't use it all the time, but when you notice your hair needs to get some TLC, this here is the product for you. I love this stuff. And another brand I really like too, um, but I haven't purchased anything because when I was with Curl Kit, we would always get something. I love Allocate Naturals. I'm telling you, she she did a thing with this stuff right here. I really, really like this stuff. All of it. Every single thing I've tried from her company, I like. So one is the Pomegranate Passion Hair Elixir. That's this one. And the other one is the Lemongrass Leave-In, which I don't know if it is, but this is probably her best rated product because I love this stuff. I've gotten so many of these things from Curl Kit, and every time I get it, I put whatever I'm using to the side and get busy on this stuff right here. Here's another oil um, that I was using. This is almond oil. Um, I like almond oil. I didn't have a problem with it at all. Um, I think it will be great for me now because my hair is starting to thin due to old lady ageism <laughs> but i like this one this one i really really like i got this from um curl kid this was really really something i like this is the vitamin e oil and i like this one right here because they had a nice scent there's another oil i tried this is um castor oil i think it's the lavender scent to me but i i like this so i'm definitely going to be getting some more of this stuff soon now, these products I've tried, and I can't say I dislike them. I didn't see what the hype was. Um, Karen's Body Beautiful. Now, I've had these for a good while before I started using them and finally finished it up. So, the packaging may be different. But let me say, I think I... Oh, oh, she, had, she has another product I like for sure. And when I come across it, I'll definitely tell you about it. But I don't remember this too much one way or another if i like it had to have it again or whatever this here has been around since i was in high school this was the thing to use honey everybody said, i thought it was some clean healing cholesterol and i love this stuff i needed something cheap quick and fast and i got this from walmart and i like it like it liked it and then this here i don't know what it is the label came up, but I'm going to tell you, it's something that I got from Curl Kit, and I love this stuff. Goodness gracious, the label must have come off or whatever happened, but this stuff here, I have like a little inky, tinky bit on the lid. I should keep it. I cannot remember whose product this is, but if I go on the Curl Kids website, I'll know who this is because this stuff smells so good. I tell you, I love it. And this is another thing that I like too. This is by Fro Butter Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Let me see if I have a smell. Mm -hmm. I like this too. Let's see who's this by Fro Butter. Okay. Sometimes I wish that when um I get the things that I had done some reviews or at least talked a little bit about them because I can say I probably like this one because of the smell. This I got as a sample when I ordered. No, maybe not. I don't know where I got this from. But it's Oyen. I mean, we all know Oyen has some great dope products. 
Okay, one day you're going to be able to see this. I'm just going to be able to go, boom, you'll be able to see it. But trust me, it's from Oyen. And it smells so good. What was it? Let's see if it tells me what it is. Oh, this was their burnt sugar mint. I say mint or mini? Burnt sugar, burnt sugar mini. So y'all already know about the burnt sugar. Oh, here it is. And I love Oyen's products. This is another company. If I didn't flame flam flim flam from one product to another to another this is something i would always have some of their products because i love 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 their products okay now this video hit 22 minutes already and let me just check to make sure i got everything i think i do but i ain't leaving unless i do surprise i've done them all okay now remember i said i'm going to keep these here because i want to talk more about this product right here okay Oh, I try to do that soon because I want to throw that in the garbage because why keep empty stuff, right? All right, so now something I want to share with you guys just in case you wanted to know. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but the fingernail polish that's on my nails now is from Essie. Yeah, and you know, I knew it was going to be kind of a lot. But I think a lot was what I was looking for because I love this color. It's really, really pretty. And I think on my camera, my my um phone is showing up true to color. And the name of this color is Shut Strut Your Stuff. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but we're gonna do it. You can. Oh, you can see it. Yes. Strut your stuff, baby. All right, and that's what you'll be doing if you wear this color right here. I got it on my toes too. And this lip matte lip cream I got from Ulta. And I love this color. Let's see if I can tell you what color it is. Elusive. That's what color it is. It starts with an A. All right, y'all, look, this video is a long one. I told you guys I had a lot, but I really wanted to get right into it. I didn't want to start talking because I could do that. And I just want to get rid of this stuff because I don't need it. A lot of these bottles I would love to keep because you can repurpose them and make some things for your family, the people that like your hair potions, whatever you make, your little oil um, blends. You can make some for your family and um, share it but i'm just gonna throw them all in the garbage because i have some other stuff that i can save those jars and bottles with but if you happen to come across some jars and bottles save them okay so anyway this video is getting ready to be 25 minutes long and i'm not cutting out too much of anything and i hope you watched it to the end and i hope you subscribe let me know something that you have been trying recently especially something that's not very familiar right now on youtube i'm dying to try some new things um most of the things i am trying now are things you've heard of but what you have not heard of or don't know of that means i don't know about it either but anyway um i'm going to end this video because it's late on a monday and i need to do something like watch love and hip-hop get my drama fixed in for the week but i am going to end this video now i just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and stopping by if you haven't subscribed to my channel do so um i have some good news i want to share with my youtube family i'm going to do that really soon so just keep up with me keep up with me so on that note you know i want you all to share and spread love